Okay, to try to find the steps from where it was picked up. No, no, no. So you pick it up here. Okay, so our exhibition is talking about the work we do studying ants, bees and wasps and how they're actually faced with this problem of getting back home again uh, when they go out foraging. So they've got a central nest to which they've got to get back with food and actually give that to the larvae that are growing in the, in the nest. And what we find is there are two really neat ways that they're able to uh, work out where they've, been, where they've been going and how to get back home again. And the first is to do this ability to dead reckon, which we've got a display here about for the kids to have a go at. And um, what they're able to do is work out the angles that they've been flying or walking using a compass from the sun and integrate this with a measurement of distance. So ants are actually able to count the number of steps that they're taking to work out how far they've gone. And then with these two pieces of information, they can then walk in a straight line straight back to where they started from, back to their nest. And they can then use visual information as well, so they've memorized what the world looks like at their nest, and then match up the world that they're seeing now on their way back to the nest with how they remember it being. And when these two images are matched up perfectly, they know they're back at the nest and they've found their way back home again. So those are the two main mechanisms that we found that these uh, insects are able to really cleverly solve this problem that they have. A little display here which is our part of our ant challenge, which is for people to come here and see whether they can actually do these, these two tasks that the uh, insects are able to do. And we've got the periscopes here which give you a, a 360 degree view of the world around you. So this is a property of the insect vision. It's with eyes quite high up in your head, you can see all the way around uh, your body and see the entire world. So you've got quite a lot of information there. So we've kind of mimicked this with some mirrors and uh, given you the challenge of trying to find your way around uh, and trying to find your way back to a location where we've taken a photo using this 360 degree vision and see whether you can line up what you're seeing now with your memory of the place that we, uh, we've taken this photo from, so your nest. Uh, we do experiments like that, 